Hey Ryan, what did you say we got out tonight? Yes. Don't, man. Just don't. Why did you do that, Ryan? Because I fucking killed her. I deserve the pain. Okay, Ryan. And how did you feel while you were venting this anger? It should have been me. Not her! It was all my fault. I deserve to be punished. I deserve to feel pain. I deserve to bleed. Okay. Okay, Ryan. We'll stop there. So Ryan, do you think you are ready to explain to me from the beginning what happened that night? From the beginning? Yes, from the beginning. I mean, relive it. I think it will help for you to vocalise what happened that night. You only have to go as far as you feel comfortable, Ryan, and you can stop at any point. I would like you to try. Well, she started out as a normal night out. Alice wanted to leave early. I always walked her home. So we left. Just us two. We walked through town. Alice clinged tightly to my arm to feel warm and safe. As we got to the alley, we walked through it. I'd done it a hundred times before and thought nothing of it. down the alley. I remember feeling Alice's grip tighten around my arm. As we approached the end, there we were. Three men. We had to walk past them to get out. Ryan, I'm scared. And all I ever had to do was make her feel safe and I couldn't. We reached the end of the alley. They blocked us off. I told them we weren't looking for trouble, and if they wanted money, I could give them what they had. One of them stepped towards Alice, and I stepped in front. I remember feeling a huge pain through the side of my ribs and then my face, as one of them knocked me to the ground. So I must have hit my head pretty hard. So the next thing I remember was... was... Uh, Ryan, we can stop there if that's as far as you want to go. I was waking up, dazed and disoriented. I slowly leant up, and then I saw her. She was just laying there, not moving, so still. She was covered in blood. I rushed over, picked her up, holding her in my hands. 
hoping she'll just wake up. Hoping she'll just open her eyes. Did you blame yourself for Alice's death, Ryan? My one fucking job was to make sure she was safe. To protect her. And I didn't. But Ryan, there was nothing you could do. Do you not see that? Ryan, you need to understand that Alice's death wasn't your fault. And there was nothing more you could have done. Once you accept that, you'll be able to step off this path to destruction that you are now on. And be able to treasure the memories of her that you have. Then those memories will never be able to haunt you again. So I haven't visited for a while. I just didn't know how to put things into words. Everything going on my head. But I'm in a better place now. Coming to terms with it and all. So I wanted to tell you how I felt. At first it was unbearable. The thought of living without you. The thought of not having you there beside me. I blame myself entirely. For what happened to you. For not protecting you. For not saving you. I pushed people away because I didn't want to see anyone but you. And you were gone. It still hurts. I'll never be able to hold your hand, hear your voice, look into your eyes and see you smile. There's so much I didn't tell you. But I wish I told you. But I should have told you. Like, how much I care about you. How much you mean to me. How much I needed you. And I'll still visit you. Because I need you. That will never change. And I'll think about you every morning and night. But... Do you know the one thing I wish I told you before it was too late? I wish I told you the honest truth. Something I never had the courage to say. Alice. I love you. 